Hi, my name is Shahar and I'm from the product team. In this video, we will see an example of how to use the Simplify multi-tenancy feature. First, let's see how to configure different environments in the system. Go to Settings, User Management, Environments. If you're an MSSP, Environment will specify one customer. If you're not an MSSP, you can leverage this feature to monitor different business units in your organization. In this case, an environment will specify a business unit. I already configured seven different environments. If you'd like to add an additional environment, click on the plus sign, add the relevant fields, and save. Now, let's navigate to the cases screen. Most of our MSSP customers allow their Tier 1 and 2 to review all cases from all customers as they are responsible for the initial triage and investigation. If your MSSP has a lot of customers and data, you can assign multiple analysts to a limited number of customers so they will only review their data. To do so, you can check the How to use Simplify Permission Model video. As you can see in the case queue, I have a lot of cases from multiple environments. I can see all the cases from the seven different environments because I have permissions to all environments. If you want to review just one customer now, you can filter the queue by a specific environment. In the user management, you can see that Sarah, for example, can only review cases from my company environment. Let's log in with Sarah's user. We can see that her case queue contains cases from my company environment only. Now, let's talk about your customer's data. It's important to mention that there are multiple options to ingest your customer's data as an MSSP. If you are using a centralized SIM, you can use a single connector to forward all your customers' data through the connector by using the environment field in the case JSON. It has to be equal to the name of the environment in Simplify. If that field is empty, the case will be forwarded to the default environment. If you specify the name in the case JSON, but the environment is not configured in Simplify, you won't be able to see those cases until you create this environment in Simplify as well. If you're not using a centralized SIM and you have multiple data sources like your customer's SIM, email, CSV, EDR, and so on, you can create a connector for each one of the sources and configure the connector to the relevant environment. Another important feature you can leverage by using the multi-tenancy is the SLA. MSSP customers have different SLA agreements according to regulations or service package they purchased from the MSSP. Using multi-tenancy will allow you to specify the SLA per environment. This way you can customize the SLA according to your agreement with your customers. Another useful feature is the dashboards. Let's go to the dashboard screen. You can measure your entire SOC performances, statuses, ROI, improvements, and many more through the dashboards. If you're an MSSP, you would also like to measure your performances per customer. You can create all your relevant dashboards. They will reflect the data of all your environments. If you want to drill down into a specific customer, you can use the environment filter. If you want your customers to be interactive and view their data in Simplify as well, you can create a view only user for them with permissions to their environment and to share the relevant dashboards with them. This way, when they will log into Simplify, they will only see their data in the dashboards you shared. You can see I shared the SOC status dashboard with Administrator, Tier 3, SOC Manager, and Sarah. Let's log in as Sarah. She can only review the My Company environment meaning she will have this dashboard available with the data of my company environment only. Now, let's see how to manage your integrations for multi-tenancy. Go to the configure screen in the marketplace. If you want to configure an integration for all environments, 
you need to configure the integration to shared instances. If you want to use the integration for a specific customer, choose his environment and configure the integration for him. This will allow you to use your own tools and your customer's tools in the same playbook by choosing the relevant instance in each playbook action. Let's see how to use this capability in the playbooks. First, while creating a new playbook, you can choose whether to run it on all environments, one environment, or multiple ones. If you want to use the same playbook for multiple environments, but implement a slightly different logic for each customer, you can use the dynamic parameter feature. For example, for gold customers, we will implement mitigation actions after the enrichment phase, and for silver and bronze customers, we will stop the playbook after the enrichment process and will only notify the customer regarding our recommendations. You just need to add a simple condition action in your playbook that will check the customer service level as you specified. For more details, you can check the dynamic parameters video.